Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a memo from the uh, House Majority Pack and what it means. We'll go over uh, the important part of the content of the memo and then uh, talk about the conventional wisdom behind it. And th there might be something else going on there. This is prompted by the question of, is this a good move? Is, is this the right play to release this plan for 2024 this early? If you don't know what the House Majority PAC is, it is the Democratic Party's PAC aimed at getting the House Majority. Um, that one's pretty simple. In their memo, they identified a, a number of districts in various states that they're going to target in 2024. I'll go over those real quick. Arizona, Districts 1 and 6. California, 27, 40, 41, 45. Iowa, 3. Michigan, 10. Nebraska, 2. New Jersey, 7. New York, Districts 1, 3, 4, 17, 19, and 22. Oregon, 5. Pennsylvania, 1. And Virginia, 2. Sure, the, these are places they might be able to make up some gains. They might, they might be able to get somewhere here. Conventional wisdom is that this is just them plotting out their course and showing that, hey, we've got a plan to get the majority back in 2024. And yeah, that's probably part of it. These are definitely locations where they stand a chance of doing it. Putting it out this early, is that why they put it out? It was to show that they have a plan? Mm, I don't know, maybe a little, but it might also be something else. It might be a message to the people in these districts, to those representing these districts. Remember, the Republican majority in the House is super thin. It, it, it wouldn't take a lot of Republicans to cross over to uh, help the Democratic Party either pass or block something. If you're in a vulnerable district, you might be more willing to do that, especially if you know the opposition party has already identified you as being in a vulnerable position. One way to kind of shore up support is to move to towards them a little bit. Maybe if you play ball with them a little bit, well, it's not worth their time to devote a bunch of resources to defeat you. I would uh, imagine that a lot of the people in these districts over the next couple of years will be mentioned as uh, Republicans who cross the aisle in an attempt to solidify their position among a, a base that is possibly one that can be shifted and uh, also in hopes of making it uh, not worth the expenditure to really go after them to defeat them because they, they've been nice to the Democrats in the past. That's probably more what the memo's about, my read. Um, the conventional wisdom is just them trying to energize the base and say, hey, we're going to get the house back and all of that. I don't think so. I think this is more of a message. <laughs> like, if you want to get off this list, you, you, you better be one of the people that cross the aisle every once in a while. Otherwise, we're going to devote a whole bunch of money to defeating you because you're vulnerable. Probably a smart play. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.